Another tough day? I know. Share your mind with me for a moment and let's get you back in control. My people, hear my secret. Starting a prayer life should not cause strife. It's based on the words of Jesus Christ. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. Here's the storytelling. What should I do to start my prayer life? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. I will start by thanking God for what I have. I realize that I needed help in this life due to its difficulties and my Creator is the only one who can give me that assistance. I improve my ability to admit when I am wrong, and especially to God, my Creator. And now the mindset. Are you looking to pray for the first time and are wondering how you can get started? Perhaps you're worried about something and have decided to give prayer a chance. Know that it's never too late to start praying. Also, it's not something to struggle over to make it work well. A prayer for beginners will usually start with the acceptance of God's love. The love God gives us is a free gift through the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. Since Jesus paid the penalty for our sins, we can be reconciled to God and receive His best. Now, as God's child, you have the privilege to pray and speak with Him at any time. This means that no matter what you face in this life, God is there with you. Through prayer, you can bring any matter to Him. In your prayers, praise Jesus and adore Him as your Savior. You can use Psalms to get an idea of how you can use praises in your prayer. And you can even start with a song. There are also many songs that can offer as praise to God, but be sure that your heart is sincere and that you're not just singing and praying as part of a routine. Also, ask for repentance. Repentance doesn't only happen once, so we should get used to asking all the time. This isn't because we always sin, but because we need to stay humble and admit there will always be growth that needs to take place in our hearts. If we knowingly sin, we can ask for forgiveness and repent for what we've done. Lastly, I suggest praying for things needed, along with people cared about. By doing so, we open our hearts to God because He created us, and He knows each of us. Honesty is important, and there isn't anything too small or too big for us to ask. While the answer may be a yes or a no, we each can expect an answer that's best suited for us individually. I know you'll find that starting a prayer life is the most natural thing you'll ever do. Thank you for sharing your mind with me. For your continued success, hear my secret. Starting a prayer life should not cause strife. Now relax, control your mind, and be as you wish to seem, empowered. I'm Lori Stith, the Stoicist. And I believe in you.